set up today these two have to go back to Mike's house and get all the stuff for Jay's new booth for his new company kinky vapor e-juice yes coming to a store near you so we are on our way to the Olympia London yeah. basically I'm just gonna breeze through the yesterday because I didn't film a thing but Jay picked me up at the airport we went back to his mother-in-law's to get his son's GCSE results and then we had lunch we went to Jay's house to pack up all the stuff for the booth and then we picked up Mike and did a little tour of London a little night guided driving tour whoa 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 hang about <laughs> hang about a minute he oh. never mentioned the tour that we had on the way to Mike so I've just got to add that shit to me yes. right there but on the night time tour that I had a professional blue guide <laughs> shut up white walker in the back <laughs> Either way, both guides were very helpful and handy, I well, must say, you. yes. <laughs> and, you know, I stayed at Jay's house last night. I ended up passing out on the couch in the shed. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're right here. You're less than a fucking foot away from me. <laughs> they love it. It's for the vlog. So, here we are. Woke up today and we're vlogging. It's time to start and it's time to start getting some footage. We have some good plans for today. We're gonna go and set up the booth. Well, they're gonna drop me off. I'm gonna basically just sit there with my finger up my butt and wait for them to come back. With the luggage. <laughs> with the luggage, yeah. I'm in charge of guarding the luggage. And they're gonna come back. We're gonna set up the vape finder booth and Jay's booth. Hopefully I'll have something entertaining to watch for the next few minutes because I, I don't know, I'm just, I feel like I'm just going to be sitting with luggage for an hour while you guys go get the stuff, but you'll be alright. We'll find out. Chris is there, so we'll meet up with Chris and see what he's doing. Alright, that's the full update. Alright, let's get this vlog started. <laughs> reviews yes on daddy vac tv channel what's up guys that's not what i sound like at all not at all <laughs> jay yeah give us a tour give us a tour yeah. well back to this bed the executive suite huh? the executive suite this is the mirror it looks like i don't know you can move something behind there but it's attached to my head <laughs> this is the the chaise lounge comme buffet <laughs> this is the TV that is putting my TV on. <laughs> there are two two little stools in here. Square poops. Square poops. 
and a couch. And a couch. Everything's made of plastic, though, so you can't stain it. Well. I wonder what they do with you guys. I just hope you two don't get up to the same oh, thing. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't be so hard. <laughs> what? So, Mike, there's a phone in the toilet? There is on the wall. Oh, on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the light's on the outside, so you can mess with them, too. Oh. Oh. What? Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Hello, Jeeves. Yes, I'm just wiping my backside. I'll be there in a jiffy. So, there it is, the grand tour of uh, the executive suite of the K-West Hotel. So now, we have to go load our stuff up and build up the booth. Yeah. This is the, the bannering. Oh, are you for real? What? I'm here to Come document on, man. it. This is going to fuck you. What? <laughs> This I'm gonna right, film Chris that. in case he falls. Yeah. He'll be on film. Because we're not yeah, we're not insured today. That's it. <laughs> if you stingy Nipple with the rock. tape. They're doing a great job, I swear. What well, there? It's got all kinks in it. Yeah, but I feel like <laughs> Is it central? Because you're over that white bit there. Double win! Tommy, number one cloud champion! <laughs> you man, airflow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How come this guy comes from America and gets here earlier than you? He flew in yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I planned ahead this time. Airport. So we're here at the London Vape Show. Come check us out at the Hemp CBD Expo. <laughs> <laughs> Clip ruin. We have the starter kit booth taking shape. <laughs> we have about half of our reviewers. Chris. Hello there, Chris. Hello there, Brian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Emily. Ah, putting that in. Let's go. Do I need batteries? Yes. We haven't tried either of them, do they? Oh, yeah, you did. We out here, boy. Who are you with? Grove? Yeah, we saw you earlier, yeah. Oh, nice. What's yeah, up, man? we so, made it. Say what's up. Who am I talking to? Daily Vape TV. Daily, Daily Vape? Yeah. Oh, Bunch of vapors yeah. here tonight. Yo, yo, vape life, dog. Cheers, man. I'm about to blow a cloud. <laughs> Cheers, Ooh. boys. All right. That's a dude from Undergrowth. Is it? Yeah. We're here at the London Vape Show. Look at who I got here. Yo, yo, yo. Aiden. We're going to do a show. <laughs> yeah, of course. We should. We should go live. At some point today, we are going to go live. So if you're watching this now, You've already seen it. <laughs> but yeah, you're in the future. Yes, you people. Okay. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> we got everybody behind us here. We're still waiting on a few. We've got Mark, Chris, <laughs> Mike's next hey, reviews. What's up? Yeah. So Jay's coming up now to go do his stand. We're going to go over there in a bit and see what that's all about. I mean, I already know what it's all about, but these guys don't. So, yeah, and then we're gonna go walk around and see the show. Should be fun. Fresh Bill Friday. <laughs> <laughs> should we put the timer on? Or should I just time lapse it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever time it is, Mom will say it's on anyway. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello there, Brian. <laughs> What's up, vapors? Right. So as you can see, we're in full swing. It's going to get loud. I apologize if you can't hear a word I'm saying. But we're about to start the judging for the e-liquid. That's going to take hopefully not all day. You never know. And we've got everybody here. We, we're missing 
Dean and Poggy right now. But otherwise, we've got all the reviewers here. I'm sure you've already seen them because, you know, I've been taking little random clips here and there. But yeah, so far so good. Having fun, meeting people, seeing old friends. I say old friends, people that I met last year. Just having a look around. Honestly, this is the first time I've been able to get out from away from that little reviewers area over there. Had a couple of uh, starter kit setups. That was awesome. Love helping people. Reminds me of being back home at the vape shop. Oh, here we go. We got live painting. What is in this bag? All right, hi guys.
Yeah, no further ado. We have Ashley from Strawberry Queen, a wonderful host. Everyone, round of applause for Ashley. Okay, if you guys want to do it, like, Come on, guys. A big round of applause for Ashley. Yeah. Where's Premier at? She needs it. I can't hear you guys. Backstory, Ashley lost a dance-off last night, so she needs all the applause she can get right now. We also have with us uh, announcing the awards, uh, Mark, uh, the vaping postman. Mark was part of all of the judging for this. It was all blind tasting. There literally are no favorites because they got given a number and they were asked to decide who won. And Mark will vouch for that. And he is uh, a very honest person, let's put it that way, what his reviews. <laughs> Okay, so Mark and Ashley are gonna tag team. Don't look into that. <laughs> Let's get ready to judge. <laughs> so the third category we have got is dessert flavor. Dessert, Ashley. All right, well, I mean, again, it was really tough to pick this one, you guys. So um, it's a little bit of a tie, but so second place is the lab, Pavlova. And in first place, Kinky, Raunchy Rainbow Sherbert. Yes. That was shocking. <laughs> And Nick is over from America and he is the most wonderful man. He is uh, such a gentleman, beautiful, beautiful man. I love his majestic beard, his per sparkling personality, his, his wonderful breasts. <laughs> <laughs> just love everything about him. Can I just say, oh. What do you want to say about uh, What do you want to say about TVP? I was, was going to say, you have the most beautiful nipples. <laughs> so many males. <laughs> Clean. English gravy from KFC. <laughs> He's just dared me to do half Jack Daniels and half English gravy. Probably oh, top me up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot to mix it. You don't have to, but I would. Shit. I'd probably recommend it. I think so. All my days. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god, there's no gravy on this. It's fucking honey Jack Daniels. Oh, so good. You can do it. Thank you. That's dangerous. Oh, that was cool. Why? Cool. 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 That was the best gravy ever. <laughs> so Nick challenged me to do the um, Jack Daniels Tennessee Bourbon Honey Challenge with the KFC gravy. So this is the Ooh, Jack Daniels sexy. challenge and KFC gravy. Don't smell it. Ugh. That's the worst idea. Go on. Oh man. 
It's not mixing. Here it is. No. <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna get that hit. <laughs> That's oh, good. That's good. It tastes good. The chip tastes nice, but it's gonna taste this. All right. <laughs> Down the hatch, as they say. Let's see what. Yeah. Not five fingers that punch thing. Boy. Uh, so now this is going to be a thing. We're going to get this trend in. Jack Daniels oh. and KFC gravy. It almost came out my nose. Game on. Oh, that was. I feel like that was way more whiskey than gravy. I was mainly into like. the So majestic. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, vapors? He's Nick. He's Daily Vape TV. You love that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I already saw the video from last night. It's just me going, do it. <laughs> What's up, vapors? This is LVC. Pushy. <laughs> We're going to have to do a sweets review later. I haven't tried this one yet. So, Sherbert. Sherbert lemon. How is this sherbet? It's sherbet on the inside. Ooh. This is really difficult while filming. Oh, there we go, I got it. Your cameras are much better than my cameras. Dude, I want like four of those. I'm jealous. Yeah, this this is nice, but I mean, look at this. Got the Sony and the 5D. If I could rig down to what you got, bro, I would but love my The rig, the rig itself, it's half your size, man. I know. Could you imagine holding this for six hours a day? Nope. <laughs> so, we are here with Jay. How you doing, guys? You guys remember Jay from last year? He was the one with this giant rig. Uh, every show. <laughs> every show. So we have his new line, Cinematic Series, Omatics, and tell us about it. So I've been working in the video game for the industry for about three years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always wanted to be in the liquid industry as well, just to go a little step further. And I thought the best way to do that is by following the track chain, which is going in through the liquid line. So what we did was try to create branding that mirrored what we were doing in video. And, you know, come and bring it into a liquid line. So yeah. the name of flavor is Focus, Exposure, and Perspective, we're trying to keep it all again within photography field, but that way we could wear it on the standard, it relates back to our flavors. So like our hashtags are, where's your focus? You need exposure, get some perspective. <laughs> and you know, the video guys can wear it, the e-liquid really guys can wear it, and it's got a meaning on both sides. That's great, I love it man, it's great. You got, you've got the shirts and everything. Yep. We do our own shirts, we do everything on this stand has been hand built or designed in house by us. It's amazing. Uh, so everything is very close to heart as well. We have exposure over here, right. which is uh, lemonade, apple, and blackcurrant. I love me some blackcurrant, yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. more fruits or dessert? Fruits. Fruits, yeah, mostly. Yeah. 
it's a nice mix. It's a nice gentle mix of everything. Not, not one flavor really peaks, but it mixes so well together. And it's kind of an odd combination. Do you get a little bit more of a lemon trickle at the end? Yeah, it's a little bit lemony at the end, which is so, a nice zing. Yeah, so these zeros, that zing up at the moment is a bit tart. Once you mix it with nicotine, mm -hmm. it mellows out, it kind of sweetens up a little bit. Yeah. And then you get that little trickle of flavor at the end of it on your tongue. Nice. So, yeah, that's good. That's really good. So we've got Perspective, which is our blue muffin shake. Blue muffin shake. Yeah, it's very different to all the blueberries I've tried so far. So. I remember this one. Did you enter this one? Yeah. I remember, I remember this it. one. I, I think I, hear it. I remember I rated it, I believe, an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. Man. That was good. And this is really, it's not really my flavor profile over, overall, but it's tasty. Yeah. You, you, you that was what surprised me. That blueberry, blueberry is normally very tart and punchy. Yeah. No, but it's mellowed out. You get yeah. that muffin flavor, you know. That's it. But that, and then that creamy aftertaste. That's really, I love it. And the last one we have is Focus. So this is a uh, summer fruits. We call it cordial here, so it's like your um, water and juice concentrate. Right, yeah. All right. That's interesting. Mm. Strawberry, cherry, raspberry. They're a little bit light at the moment. Yeah. Um, once we give them a little bit of time to sit, like and again, once we add nicotine, at the moment, because of the base of those flavors, I haven't sat for so long, it's a little bit perfumey on the end of the note. Again, like with the lemonade, with a little bit of nicotine, that will sweeten out and leave that trickle flavor on the top. That's really nice. It, it's tart, sweet, but again, nothing is too too it's sharp. Very, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, like as a content creator, we're always on our feet all day. And do you know what? Like running around the trade show for six, six and a half hours with a camera, we're always off to a drink. And <laughs> we might as well do the theory behind the line. It was kind of, let's do drinks. Like, we're still in the summer perspective. Let's get a few drinks out there in the sense that, you know, we're running around the show, we're thirsty, it's hard work, we're hot, a drink will cool it down. But then we don't want it so overpowering that it's going to give us a head rush while we're working. So we've mellowed it right down, so it's almost like a full day date. Well, thank you so much for letting me try your line. I think it's absolutely smashing. This is good stuff, guys. Check it out. Make sure you check out Cinematics. Coming out to you soon. Oh. So it's the last day. I'm gonna fly out in a couple hours, but Tommy decided to bring me to the Notting Hill Carnival. Yeah. Um, which is Nick just said he fancied a little bit of soca. Yeah. <laughs> We've been behind a few exceptional candidates for <laughs> best dressed, <laughs> best undressed. I know you're um, holding back right now, Tom. The skills that like nothing on bikinis in London, but they wore comfy shoes because they didn't, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, you got to be comfy at the end of the yeah. day, man. But, um, yeah, we haven't seen any trouble yet, which is a little not, bit disappointing. Not yet, we but... promised Nick a good... Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go flip the camera now. Hold on.